Amac on the mix. Ugh. Yo, what up, guys? Amac here, and today I want to talk about my favorite rule of audio engineering, and I like to call it: Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Um, you know, I'm doing a lot of these quick tip videos, and at the end of the day, these are all just guidelines because there are really no rules to this, you know, on the creative side. Um, it doesn't matter what DAW you use, whether it's Pro Tools, Logic, Studio One, Cubase, Ableton, uh, it doesn't matter. Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Um, I don't care if you're in a $50 million studio or you're in your closet with $400 worth of gear. Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Doesn't matter if you're using stock plugins or you're using universal audio plugins. Does it sound good? Does it feel good? I don't care if you're putting 15 plugins on one track to get that sound or you're only using two. Um, no one's ever hit me up and been like, yo, Ali, I loved the way your mix looked. Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Um, you know, a lot of times people hit me up and they'll be nervous about the fact that they turned up 1K like 10 dBs or turned it down 10 dBs. Uh, and what I have to say to that is, didn't the person who created that gear or that plugin make the knob go to 15 for a reason? Don't be scared to push your EQs, your compressors, your saturation, your imagers. Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Um, no one's ever pushed the boundaries of music by playing it safe. The distorted 808 didn't come by somebody playing it safe. Do not be afraid. Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Have you captured the emotion, the feeling of the record? That's what matters here. It doesn't matter how you get there. We are always going to have a lot to learn and that's what I love so much about this. But does it sound good? Does it feel good? And if you answer yes to that, man, then you've already won. And that's all I got for today, y'all. Yeah. Peace.